Hey guys, it's me, the Mean Minnow, and we are playing Nuclear Throne. I actually am starting this Let's Play in the middle of a game that I'm playing, but that's okay. So I just picked this game up yesterday, and I have been playing it non-stop. I literally uh, have not stopped playing it since I got it. Uh, it is pretty much uh, that good, even though it's in early access uh, it feels pretty finished. I mean, I, I don't know what more they could do. Uh, I just picked this up for the first time. I've never played it before um, Before I picked it up the other day. So, you know, you know, I don't know what it was like before this. Um, but they did just come out with a massive update, apparently, uh, that added, like, a lot of balance uh, to the game, to the players, and to the uh, bad guys and everything. Um, but yeah, it, you know, to me it feels pretty complete. I don't see what more they could do to it. This is a pain in the ass when this happens. Uh, but I knew I was going to die. That's why we started then. Because now we're going to officially start the Let's Play. I'm going to keep playing as Fish because guess what? I'm the mean minnow. I mean, that's the whole point, right, of being the mean minnow. You play as the fish. That's what we're going to do. Uh, one thing that has been the most difficult part of this game is managing uh, your ammo. That's pretty much the, uh, I would say, the hardest part of the game. The other thing that's kind of annoying that happens is that you just saw a second ago is that these little green bars down here are uh, your experience basically? I, I'm not sure what the name of it is, but you know, it's, I think it's like uranium or I don't know, something like that. Uh, and it's your experience. That's what gives you uh, your level ups, and your level ups allow you to gain, you know, certain power ups. Basically, um, it's not like Binding of Isaac where you can just pick power ups up unless it's like a gun. Um, but they disappear after a certain amount of time. And when you have, like, two of these scorpions that are shooting acid at you or whatever it is that they shoot, it's kind of hard to get to certain places. The assault rifle, so far, has been my favorite uh, weapon. It only does, like, a three-burst uh, shot. And the great thing about that is, is it helps you conserve your ammo. It's so easy in this game to just totally waste ammo. And that's what gets you killed, and especially me, because I don't focus on it. Like I've said in the past, I prefer casual games where, you know, I don't really have to focus on things like that. This is the uh, what the power-ups look like in the game when you level up. You get to pick one of these power-ups before you enter the next level. Uh, so we have stronger attract, attract power. I, I honestly don't know what it does. I think it attracts those plutonium. That's what it's called, plutonium uh, bars to you from longer distance melee range. Uh, longer reach for your melee weapons, uh, less enemy HP, and slower enemy bullets. We're going to go with less HP. I always pick things that are either HP up or things that lower the HP of the bad guys. Uh, it just seems better. This is where I get screwed when there's no protection from stuff like that, from the acid and the ball, the balls that are getting thrown at me right now. Uh... But, like I said, uh, this game so far, it's pretty awesome. That's like a, a boss, that, that guy that I just killed. I don't, I don't want to call it a boss, but you know, it's, they're more powerful than the typical enemy. So, what you do is you try to kill as much as you can, but like I said, it's harder... It's harder than the typical game, I would say, right now, which is good. It's a, you know, it's a challenge. Like I said, I don't even, I like more casual games, and I've really enjoyed this. So I think a lot of people would um, really like it. I'm trying to focus here. That's why I'm having a hard time talking at this very moment, of course. So now we have another power-up. We can get higher ammo max, plus four max HP. No damage from explosions and fire went under 50%. So when we're under 50%, which we are right now, we won't take explosive or fire damage. 
shotgun fingers shells bounce further. We do have a shotgun, and what that means is you'll, uh, you know what? Uh, no, we're not, because we're going to pick this, but I'll show you what shotgun bounce is. If we get a chance, if um, we get a chance to pick that power up again, I'll show you, but shotgun bounce is that right there. It was really hard to see, but the rounds, they do bounce a little bit, like bounce back, so when you have shotgun fingers, they bounce like all over the place. And I've actually selected that before. Um, and it's a great way to uh, kind of take out multiple en enemies in a small area. Especially when you're in here, which I, I call this the sewers. Because there are rats. That's my only reason why. This is actually probably my favorite... Uh, biome, if you will, so far of Nuclear Throne, and I died. Like I said, we're going to be dying a lot, so I'm just going to continuously uh, start over while I'm talking here. But it really is uh, that challenging. It, it's definitely one of the more challenging games I've played in a while. But that that's the part of the that makes it fun. And if you talk to a lot of people who you know talk about gaming today. It's kind of like, that's kind of the problem. All games are too easy. They don't have that arcade level style difficulty where they're actually hard and they actually require you to maybe like have a little bit of skill to um, be able to win and play. Furthest I've gotten, I, th I think, is four, four maps in, basically. I, I don't know how many. I think there's like eight or nine total plus the nuclear throne which is like the last the last level if you will uh, kind of like Isaac but it also like Isaac it might get bigger I don't know uh, who knows when we'll get there it might be months so I'm gonna do uh, you know I'm gonna keep playing this I don't know how long the uh, series on this is gonna be in my channel but we'll have to see as long as I keep updating it we'll keep playing it so we have another power up here, high rate of fire as HP gets lower. Less enemy HP again. Some kills regenerate HP. We're gonna pick that right off the bat. Oh, and I have I leveled up twice. That's awesome. So we get another one. Homie homing bolts, that is for crossbows. The homing bolts actually find their target without you having to aim as accurately. Corpses fly and hit harder. So when you kill Corpses, they actually go flying and they hit other enemies and they'll do more damage. More item drops. This is Rabbit Paw. It's kind of like luck in Binding of Isaac. Look at that. And we have enemies touching you take damage. We are going to go with luck. We're going to try to get more item drops. That way we can get we have a better chance of getting uh, health drops and things like that, which we desperately need, especially because I suck so bad at this game right now. I'm actually going to try and kind of like focus more here so that I can actually live in this game a little bit longer. I'd like to make it to the nuclear throne. I, I haven't watched any... I like to watch other people do Let's Plays sometimes on games before I play them. And I haven't really watched anybody play this yet, so I, you know, I, it's kind of like learning as I'm going here. Um, so we'll have to see... People have been asking me why I haven't been playing Darkwood. Well, when they fix Darkwood, I will start playing it again. Darkwood is the game that I was pretty much really, really excited for. I haven't been that excited for a long time. It's really awesome. I've been playing it on my PC. Uh, the problem is my PC is really old, so uh, recording on my PC is just kind of out of the question right now. It it just doesn't it doesn't work. It overheats, shuts down, so I can pretty much only play Darkwood and not actually, uh, I can't actually record it at the same time. But I will tell you, I do love the game. It's, it's awesome. And we just died again. Like I said, as I play this game, I promise I'll get better. We will see. I, I I'm not like the best gamer in the world. Probably one of the worst, but, um, you know, that's how it is. I like to play just for shits and giggles, not for any other reason, and maybe to provide a little light entertainment for you lovely people, lovely people of YouTube. Oh my god, that was such a noob move that we just did right there. 
maybe let's try somebody else. I haven't played, I honestly, I've only played as a fish. I played as actually uh, this guy right here, the rebel, I guess. Oh my god, there's a chicken. We're going to play as a chicken. I don't even need to go any further. And what does he have? He has a sword. Good thing about the melee weapons in this game is they don't require ammo. Bad thing about melee weapons is we have to get too close. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was really cool. If I'm not mistaken, he can hit bullets back at the enemies. Yeah, that was awesome. So his sword actually hits bullets or ammo, whatever those guys shoot, light bullets or whatever, back at the enemy. I love it. So we have more speed, kills, regenerate ammo, higher ammo max, kills, regenerate HP. We're going to go with HP just because I suck so bad. We are also going to take that shotgun. Of course we are. We'd be crazy not to, although I think I'm going to keep using a sword. Um, yeah, that is really awesome, although I'm taking some serious damage there. Although that power-up just helped us. We just got one health. Okay. And what this is right here, by the way, I'm right-clicking uh, on my mouse, and that is like a power-up, I guess you could say, that the chicken has. And the uh, I should have shown you on the fish as well. The fish has the same power-up, and it's slow motion, as you can see here. It's not going to really help me, though. Man, the, 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 the scorpions are the worst. And, oh, this is the other thing about the chicken. You can die... And you can keep playing. I forgot about that. I did. I watched. Uh, I think I saw a GIF of that or something like that or GIF. However, people say it. Uh, who are we gonna play now? Let's play as the plant. The plant has a pretty interesting power. It has an overgrowth power. Look at that. That plant is growing stuff on the ground. This is kind of the hard part, I guess you could say, of this game. You kind of get overwhelmed, like, right off the bat. Even if you, when, when you just start, when you just get started out. And, and if, you get, if you spawn in a corner, like what happened to me earlier, and you've got all these stupid acid-spitting scorpions around, it's really tough to, um, it's tough to get out of that mess. Okay, I'm liking the plant so far. I don't know, did that actually do anything? He is trapped there, by the way. So, that's really cool. You have to be careful of those when they're covered in stuff. Corpses fly. Attraction. Kills lower your reload speed. Uh, let's do strong attract just because I've never seen it. And this is what I'm talking about. You spawn, you spawn in something like this where you're just taking fire from every angle. Got a little bit of HP and we survived it without. And I spoke too soon. Of course, I take I take damage from the smallest thing in the screen. Okay, so that was really cool. I don't know if you could see what just happened, but. I got those uh, those plutonium bars from very far away, so that works out really well. That's good for, uh, you know, that might be a good power-up, because uh, that's one of the problems in this game, is that the plutonium dies or whatever. It just goes away, and that ki it kind of sucks. Plants, plant. So this is a plant-only power-up. Snare finishes enemies under 50%. That's pretty cool, so if they're under 50%, they automatically die. Stress, higher rate of fire as HP gets lower. We know that more speed. Kills, regenerate ammo. Let's do that snare thing. That might be pretty cool. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. And it, it's... That shit is really hard. When you get into these... And I've boxed myself into a corner. 
Uh, and I died. Let's go back to the fish. So this is basically the game. A lot of frustration, a lot of uh, getting pissed because you it's so easy to die. But it's also strangely addictive. And, you know, you just run around and take stuff and shoot stuff. I think it'd be a lot more fun if I could get farther. Like I said, I only got pretty far one time. There we go. We got into level two. Bolts, uh, four. I always go for that plus four HP. Always. Uh, the one time that I got really far, that's what I did. I, I took that plus four, and it really uh, helped me out big time. So since then, I always, always take it. These green things give you a ton of plutonium so you can level up even faster. Although, that didn't look like it helped us very much at all. We're going to take this. Whoa. One shot at him. And that's the other thing, is that uh, if, if you don't collect all the... Uh, chess when it's the end of the round and you've killed everything you get sucked down that hole and uh, you know that's that if you didn't collect the chest you can't take the power up or whatever was in the chest with you which kind of stinks sometimes because sometimes you are just in another room or something like that or whatever you want to call it another just section of the the game and you see a chest and you can't you can't get it uh, so that's kind of annoying. We're going to take that machine gun and try to do away with him. Like I said, I don't know what these guys are. I don't know what any of the names of the bad guys are, by the way. So I can't help you there. The machine gun is pretty awesome. You, you, I find that when I use it, I waste a lot of ammo, which is kind of precious in this game, to say the least. Um, without ammo, see, and we, oh, oh no, so we got that chest, we got really lucky. No damage explosions, uh, water boost, don't even know what that is, let's take it. it. Must be my roll, which I'll show you in just a second. There we go, yep, it was. Okay, so we're in the sewers, these toxic rats are really hard to beat, and there you go, they killed me. Um, because they spawn more rats. Who else can we play? YV, high rate of fire. I've never played him either. He said I haven't played most of them. Let's play him. Ooh, he does have a high rate of fire. Wow. That's useful. I don't know what a screwdriver does. What the heck just happened? The screwdriver doesn't seem to... I don't know what it's doing. All right, let's go this way. I wonder if this guy is a reference to the Illuminati with his triangle shape. How dare they? How dare they? You guys are probably going to think I'm some crazy conspiracy theorist, but I'm not. Just thought I would make an Illuminati joke. Rhino skin. Don't even need to look at the others. I always am taking that power up from now on. We only have our original pistol, which is not as good as something like an assault rifle, which would be better. Whoa, what do we, what do we have here? Wait a second, wait a second. Oh, his main weapon is the golden revolver. So that's really cool. This this is the laser handgun uh, that I have here. And the energy weapons, I do believe, are pretty powerful um, in this game. But you see here, I have an energy bar right there. And you have to watch that. Um, so my strategy when I come into places like this where I can't see uh, the scorpions... I typically try to take them out from a distance, but we, we got kind of lucky on that guy. Uh, if there were two up there, we would not have gotten away with that. 
Uh, we just wouldn't have. Oh man, I've never had this weapon before. That, holy crap. And we died! No! And I had never had that. That was the coolest thing ever. Well, we're going to cut episode one off here. I'm going to practice some more so I don't bore you with my failing. And then hopefully, uh, you know, I'd like to get some episodes in where we get make it to the end at least. So you can see what that looks like. Again, this game is still in early access if I'm not mistaken. And, but, but you know, I'd say it's definitely at the point where you should get it. it. took me a long time to get it. I never wanted to play it. wasn't crazy about the graphics for some reason, but now that I'm playing it, I, I cannot stop, uh, even though it's kind of hard. So there you have it, Nuclear Throne, Episode 1. Thanks for watching.